Thank you for joining me, and uh, let's just jump right into this. The other day I put a video up talking about interstitching balls and showing you where they're biological and not geological, and they are not concretions with marine life in the center of them, uh, and that is where I'm getting to right now. The video I put up, I was not able to give you all the information because it just would have made the, inf the video too long, so I just pretty much cover covered the interstitium, did talk about really the tendon balls, and I really didn't cover concretions and what I believe is going on with those. Now, the tendon balls and the interstitium are biological. Concretions, that is geological. And I'm going to show you some stuff here in a minute. So I'm sure when I put the video up now, the other day, and there's some biologists out there, they already said some a few things to me like, well, we have concretions, they got fossils in the middle, and we find these, and there's no way they could be biological, and you don't know what you're talking about, you don't even know what a, a concretion is. Okay, so the, uh, hey Lucy, do you mean something like this, concretion? <laughs> yeah, I have these, I find these, find them different shape sizes and what's inside them, you know, as far as uh, marine life. Now I'm not sure what's going on, there's something going on with like crabs or shellfish or nautilus or some, whatever this marine life is. I don't know if it's a calcium or something that's attracting this material to them and making the concretions. This is a geological event. This is not a biological event right here. Okay. So I'm not quite sure what's making because when I find these on the mud flats and when I'm digging clams or whatever and they're partially developed or more developed than um, you know some of the other ones, they first start out getting full of mud in here and then they start getting this coating on them and I find them in different stages of preservation. So this is that one that I chipped out, or I drilled out of that wall, and I cracked it open to see what was inside of it. So, um, like I was saying, I'm not sure what's making this part attract this part to it. But something is making, drawing that to that. Okay, now there's a big difference between these concretions that are geological and the interstitium balls and the tendon balls that I'm showing you. They're totally designed different inside. You don't find marine life inside them. And so what geology's done is thrown them all in the same bag of marbles. All concretions are, you know, mineral deposits are built out of, made out of minerals, and they do not understand the geological part from the biological part. And that's what I'm showing you here today. So this is geological. All right. So let's find out. A concretion is a hard, compact mass of matter formed by the precipitation of mineral cement within the spaces between particles and is found in sedimentary rock and soil. Concretions are often of ovoid and spherical, spherical in shape, although irregular shapes, shapes also occur. So let's see what they look like. Aha! We have a lot of them here. And I can already tell you a lot of these are biological and some of these are geological. You see this one here? That's a tendon ball. And it's still got part of the biology tissue still, this is the pattern they have. I find this pattern also. If you were to break this open, you would find no marine life inside of it, like you find in the concretions. The concretions, a lot of them, you find marine life in them. You know, shell, you know, seashells, crab, uh, those nautiluses, things like that. 
there's a difference between a tendon ball which is biological and interstitial ball which is biological and the concretions are geological that that there is a tendon ball see how this pattern is right here uh, they preserve they, they preserve different in the salt water than they do inland plus there are their different size, sizes and shapes and different creatures and different parts of the body and so that's why we're finding some of them with different patterns and, and stuff like that okay but this is biological that is geological this is this is I mean, like I you know I showed you in the shell that I the shell of fish inside the one that I, I broke out um, there's one here too, and um, some. So for some reason, these are f making this stuff form to the outside of them and collecting and forming these balls. And I'm not sh quite sure how they're mineralizing like that, but that is geological. Those are biological. 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 You see, it's the center in those. I find those like that too. Um, the Chinese slice them and make those plates off them stuff. That is a, I believe that's there is a tendon ball. <sighs> Biological. Okay, I'm going to show you something else here. Okay, that's from down at the coast where I took. That there is a tendon ball. See how it's formed and everything, and you don't find any marine life in the center or nothing in the center that's been, you know, attracting the material to it. You never find any 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 marine life or anything in the center of these. That's biological. That's an interstitial ball, in flesh, in tissue. And this is biological. Interstitial ball here. There's one in here, and there's one stuck over in here. There's one right in here, and they're embedded in the tissue. There's one right down in here. There's this one right here that I end up kicking out onto the ground. And when you split these open, there's nothing inside of them, okay? Because these are biological, they're not concretions. I already showed you the matting and showed the individuals with the tails on them. There's more of them here. Okay, now I'm going to show you some interstitial balls here, and you'll notice the centers of them, and there is no... These aren't concretions, there's no marine life or no seashells or no nothing in the center of them they're all formed the same way they always look the same way they got a darker center with a, a centerpiece in them and these are biological center in them yeah centerpiece right in here where uh, a uh, tenor balls is constructed totally different tenor balls are different that's interstitching there interstitching right here uh, how big like that, that one is and those two stuck together here's that's one right ball. there an interstitium see it's all broken off it used to be a lot bigger even here's one that has a center on it more I find a lot of them like that one right there that's an interstitium ball that's what the center usually looks like they got a a round center in them, okay? More of a yeah, core. I don't, flush. I don't find one combed out like that. I'll but show you some more. Well, I don't really don't need to because I'm trying to show that they don't have the seashells. They don't have something in the center of them growing to them. And these are interstitial balls. These are not concretions. That's what these interstitial balls look like on the inside normally. They have them fall on me. <laughs> There's another one here. That one's just the corners broken off. It's not to the center. Yeah, see? Here's another one here. Start getting like this. I got this. this. You know, there's no seashells, no no marine life in the center. Of them. Here's another interstitial here. Oh, here we go. See here? Here's more of them. All through here. See the centers? And see how they're just they're they're these layers. Okay. Now we'll do some tendon balls. Okay. These are tendon balls. And you notice oh, yeah, the you'll like notice the pattern bad. on them. It's all eroded. Totally right different than can't concretions where they're smooth and sandy on the outside. These are totally different. Okay, and this is biological. Anchored in this tissue and this set down in it, and the, I mean, it looks like the tissue. This is sitting down. Okay, you can see where the stalks came off here, and there's another stalk that came off right there. Okay. 
See the other stock right here? All right. And then it's also we got a stock here that came out for the anchor for the tendon for the, the, the piece apart for above for the muscle and this anchored down into the tendon. And here we have another tendon ball. See the pattern on the outside? It's nothing like their concretions and they're not even like the interstitium. Now I'm going to show you what the centers look like on these. Okay, we're coming into two tendon balls right down here, and this one's split in half or eroded. You'll see it's how it's a totally different an aggregate or a totally different bio biology than the interstitium or the concretions themselves. Okay, you see that? See that pattern in there? It's totally different. And you don't find, you know, a big starfish or a crab in the center of it. So, um, But there's a big difference between those and the concretions with the material they find in the center of them. Okay, we're back to uh, what they call concretions here. See, they throw they throw the, the tendon balls, the interstitial balls, and the concretions all in the same ball, bag of marbles and call them all concretions, and that's not the case. Here's, here's a tendon ball up here, and look at the patterns, almost identical to the patterns. See how chunky that is, like the one I just showed you in my video? This is just a chunk liner, but look at the center of it and how it's all chunked up too. That's an interest, that there's a tendon ball. Totally different than their concretions and what they look like inside. Uh oh, another tendon ball. But look how massive that one is. Pro I guarantee you, pop that open, you won't find a seashell in it. Okay? <laughs> you can't quite see it right here, but that one's chunky too, and got those thing, that same pattern down inside. And see, these kids are standing inside of it. That's a tendon ball. That there is a tendon ball. That there is a tendon ball that she's down inside of. I guarantee you she's not sitting on a shellfish. <laughs> you can even actually still see some of the blood, the reds and the blacks right here. The vein and arterial blood around her. These are tendon balls. See they're a little bit different patterns. But look at the reds and the blacks here. Look how chunky they are inside there just like the ones on, that I showed you that I have. See that? Not a concretion. That there is an interstitium. You don't have the chunky, you don't have the blocky, it's more of the smoother pattern and stuff. And it also looks like it's in skin clays, so it's a upper surface, upper skin uh, interstitium. Okay, these are concretions. These are geological. See how they got the nautiluses in them and the shells and stuff like that, and they get impregnated with this sandstone or min mineralized rock or whatever you want to call it. And, um, uh, there's a whole bunch of them through here and that is what that there is actually um, concretions which are a geological event caused from a geological event okay here's some more tendon balls which are uh, biological so I'm gonna close out with this and um, just say that we've got three things going on here you got the concretions which are a geological event you've got the tendon balls which are biological and you have the interstitial balls, which are biological, which will have no sea life or nothing like them inside them. And, uh, and that's what you have going on. And geology just sees them all as one, throws them all in the same bag, calls them all concretions. And that is not what is going on. I've showed you the tails. I've showed you the biology. I've showed you the overwhelming evidence that these are not just things that are happening inside the earth or whatever. These are, geolog or these are biological. So that's what we're dealing with, um, and it is what it is, and so that's what we have. We've got things that we think that are geological. They absolutely are not. They're biological. So, all right, thanks for joining me. I hope this uh, opens your eyes and explains it a little bit better. All right, God bless, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye now.